Hello and welcome to our newest video on Tutor LMS Academy. Today we'll go over how you can get the Google Social Login Key for Tutor LMS Social Login feature. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So here we are at the Google Developer Console dashboard. So to start off, we first need to create a project. If you've seen our Google Meet or Google Classroom integration videos, this process will be very familiar to you. Anyways, so let's go ahead and click on create a project. We create the project, select a name and set up organization names too if you're connected with an organization. Once we've created the project, moving on, we need to click on APIs and services and then we need to go to the OAuth consent screen. Here we need to select the user type and we're going to set it to external and hit create. On the next screen we have to fill up some information. So go ahead and set an app name, select the user support email, developer email and so on. After you're done, hit save and continue. Then we come to the scope screen. Now we need to add two scopes for this setup. Click on add or remove scopes and select the first two checkboxes. The user info dot email and the user info dot profile scopes. So make sure that you've ticked the checkboxes beside the email and the profile scope. After choosing all the scopes, scroll down, hit update and then save and continue. On the following screen, you can add users who can test your app. Remember, this will only work when the app is in the testing phase. In this tutorial though, we will not be keeping the app in the testing phase, rather, we're going to publish the app at the end of the setup, which we'll get to in a bit. Anyways, hit save and continue, and we're done with the initial setup. Check the summary, see if all your information is good, and click on back to dashboard. Before we go to the next step, as we've said, we're going to publish this app. So just hit the publish app button, confirm, and your app will be now published. Now it's time to create your OAuth client ID. To do so, select the credentials tab from this left bar and click on create credentials. From the drop down, select OAuth client ID, and now let's set this up. So first we have to enter our application type, we're going to select web application and then we can set a name for our app and we can add a URI for the JavaScript origins and the most important part, we need to add an authorized redirect URI. Click the add URI button and the URI that we need to add here, we can quickly get from the Tutor LMS settings tab. So here we are at the Tutor LMS settings tab. From here, we need to click on authentication. Make sure that Google login is enabled and click this button to copy the redirect URL that we need to paste back into the Google Developer Console. So we had copied the redirect URL which we're going to paste here and just clicking create will finish this process for us. Once we've created the OAuth client ID, you'll see that your client ID has been generated. Just copy this and we need to go back to Tutor LMS and paste this. So back in the authentication tab of Tutor LMS, in this text box, we're going to paste the client ID that we've just copied and hit save changes. And that's it. Google social login is now activated for your e-learning site. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you found this tutorial on obtaining a Google social login key useful. Be sure to stay tuned for more tutorials on Tutor LMS. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let us know in the comments. We're always working on new tutorials, so please stay tuned for more great content.